Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in Jesus' name. I am Apostle Cedric and I bring you a prophetic word in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, confront the witch. Confront the witch. In Ephesians chapter 6, the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers and all that. Now, but I want you to understand that even though our battle is not against flesh and blood, the only way demons are going to operate legally is through flesh and blood. So without human participation, certain demon activities will not be possible. So even though we wrestle not against flesh and blood, man is going to be the channel through which spirits will pass through, okay, to execute their assignment. And there are people you have to confront. Now, when I speak about the witch, there are two kinds of witches in this context. Number one, the people who are possessed by the spirit of witchcraft and they are acting under an influence. They don't know what they are doing, but they are used by the enemy to destroy the lives of people. Number two, these are conscious witches. Either of them, one of the principles is to confront them. I'm not sending you out to begin a fight. This is a prophetic word to somebody here. It's a, di it's a direction to you. There are people who are influenced by witchcraft spirits and they are taking peace from your life. You go to a company, they speak against you, you go to get a job, they fight you, they do everything possible to ensure that you don't have peace and safety where you are. These are people who have been sent by the enemy to fight you and to hinder your promotion. Don't take it lightly. There are people who are attacking you and affecting your only chances of getting greatness. You have to confront them and speak directly to that devil, manipulating them to manipulate your result. In the book of Matthew 16, the Lord Jesus spoke to Peter and called him a devil. He said, Satan, get thee behind me. He confronted that devil and the devil left Peter forever. In Acts chapter 13, it says, Apostle Paul confronted a man called Elimas. Elimas was fighting against the gospel. Apostle Paul confronted the man and that was the end of the witchcraft oppression in that community. There are people that will not go by you praying in the sacred. You have to confront them openly. You have to be bold enough to rebuke them and tell them stop this thing you are doing stop confronting me stop fighting me stop insulting me stop you know um affecting my image stop scandalizing my name there are people who will never stop until somebody confronts them we saw the case of david and goliath he said for 40 days goliath kept on coming and coming for 40 days it was reoccurring because nobody stood up to confront him but when david confronted goliath that was the end of satanic attacks in that place there is somebody god says confront the witch you know somebody around you who keeps fighting you who keeps trying to attack your christian life who doesn't give you rest doesn't give you peace everything you do irritates them they try to you know everything they try to attack your relationships and they, they spoil your name and spoil your image you've got to confront them this is a prophetic word to somebody here i pray in the name of jesus god will give you the grace to confront witchcraft powers in the mighty name of jesus christ you confront them in prayer and there are some you have to confront physically let them know you know what they are doing the Lord bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope this prophetic word has been a blessing to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.